right. After drawing this circle inside this semicircle, divide this semicircle into equal number of parts. See here what is given this semicircle is the development of one cone and this circle full circle indicates the curve of intersection or cut portion of this semicircle or in other word if I make or if I cut a paper in semicircular shape then after if I made a circular hole like this and then after I prepare a cone of this portion what would be its front view and its top view that is our case. So, for that divide this given development into equal number of parts I have divided into 8 equal parts A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and back to A. So, this is the name of the points these are the points of intersection on O, B, O, C, O, D, O, E, O, F, O, G, O, H like this and name these points as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 like this. Measure this angle of course, this angle is known to us that is 180 degree and use this calculation which we did in development of cone angle R is the base circle radius L is the slant height that is 50 mm and theta is equal to R upon L into 360 degree. So, calculation would appear like this radius would be equal to 180 degree into L upon 360 degree because this angle theta is 180 degree. So, 180 into L upon 360 L is known to us this is the L O A that is equal to 50 mm over here. So, 50 into 180 upon 360 that is 25 mm. So, the diameter of the cone would be 50 mm or radius of the cone would be 25 mm. So, this is just the mathematical calculation this includes the basic fundamentals of the equation that is length of arc is equal to length of radius multiplied by angle covered by that radius. Here length of radius is known to us angle covered by the radius is known to us we need to find out the length of this arc and after finding the length of this arc we find out the diameter of the circle that diameter of the circle would be the diameter of the cone. So, after finding this diameter draw an x y line which represents intersection of H p and V p draw a circle and this circle is top view of the cone and diameter is 50 mm or radius is 25 mm. Divide the circle into equal number of parts say into 8 equal parts A B C D E F G and H. Then after from all these points draw vertical lines like this transfer it to x y line and then draw a triangle of given height. Height is not given but slant length h is given l is given. So, distance between this point and this point is known to us that is l that is 50 mm. After drawing this front view our objective is to locate all these points on these edges on these generators these are the imaginary generators this is slant length l these are the points on front view a days b days c days d days e days f days g days and h days after naming these points this is apex point o days mark these points like this here first we take one generator generator o b on generator O dash B dash one point is here how to transfer these points from here. So, mark here the point on O B point number one is here transfer these points over here from that point draw horizontal line and mark it over here. Similarly, all the points from this developed portion to be transferred over here and then by drawing horizontal lines projection lines name these points O days, 1 days, 2 days, 3 days, 4 days, 5 days, 6 days and 7 days. Just this is the reverse of previous cases. In previous cases 
we knew position of these points and from this point we transferred this point to this developed portion but here these points are known to us points on developed portion are known to us and retake or put it back in front view so reverse position should be done over here after locating all these points join them with a smooth curve because this is a cone so it's a curvature and this is a circle so it is also a curvature so curvature points should be joined with a smooth curve so this is the final answer of given position now what should we do to to transfer this into top view so from here draw vertical lines like this and transfer it like this horizontal line from here that cuts this true shape or true length over here from that point draw vertical line that would cut over here from here draw an arc like this so these are the two points similarly locate all the points and join all these points with a smooth curve so this would appear like this so this is the front view and this is top view of given cone so if i cut any semi circle like this make a circular hole over here and if i make a cone its front view would appear like this and its top view would appear like this so this is the fifth case now another problem which i have drawn over here about a cylinder that is shown over here you can see here in some of the cases just these cases are given you can see here a cylinder is given like this a cylinder of diameter 40 mm and height is 60 mm now how to draw the development of this solid so for that a semi circle is drawn over here and this portion is given to us then divide this semi circle into equal number of parts now what should be the development of this cylinder the total length or developed portion would be pi into d so it would appear like this pi into 40 so 125.6 mm would be total width divide this circle uh, this circle is divided into 8 equal parts 8 plus 8 16 part or here 12 parts 12 equal parts sorry so divide this total width into 12 equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 onwards now here transfer all these points from this front view to this developed portion for example let me take one point on generator 1 this is generator 1 so draw vertical line from point 1 here point p1 is there so how to locate point p1 just from point p1 draw a horizontal line and that will cut generator from 1 this is generator from 1 over here similarly for point number 2 this is point number 2 and p2 would be draw vertical line from here it cuts this line over here so from this point draw horizontal line so this is point p2 similarly 3 is here so from this 3 draw vertical line the mark here one point from this point draw horizontal line this is point number 3 similarly point number 4 is here so from here draw vertical line this is point number p4 then similarly 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 onwards and join all these points with a smooth curve so this is the development of upper portion similarly for this lower portion the developed portion would appear like this you can develop this portion by cutting from edge 7 also but in that case it would appear some other shape that is also true so here well when you draw this developed portion this portion should be drawn much darker as compared to bottom lines these all lines should be either much lightened or it should be trimmed off you can you should draw all these lines very dark only this developed portion should be darkened and here dimensions should be entered once only of course here pi into d this calculation you can show here also total length is 125.6 mm that should be indicated over here indicated over here this diameter is 40 mm it should be indicated 540 like this and height is 60 mm it should also be shown in the diagram so it is mandatory to show dimensions once in the diagram 
here this angle is 30 degree it should be shown this angle is 45 degree and this angle is 30 degree that also should be drawn sh uh, shown in this figure now some strong hints for this uh, to solution of this problem hint number 1 think of the type of solid in given data which type of solid is given to you that you should think then after find out uh, the shape of the intersectional point whether it should be straight line or curve then after locate the points of intersection with edges or imaginary generators in case of cone and cylinder it would be imaginary generator in case of solid in case of solids like uh, prism uh, it, that would be edges then after project to respective views and develop the surfaces and some websites are these are some important websites through which you can have more solved problems and in these websites very good problems are solved you can study it at your own or you can contact me on this email address assonigra at gmail.com I, I would be happy to interact to find out more techniques more advanced technique how to learn these topics how to grasp this technique how to use this uh, for uh, any kind of interaction i am very much thankful to bisag and gtu for providing such a nice opportunity to discuss this technical session thank you thanks to all